are in Bomarzo. That was called the Finestraccia. It means the bad window. The bad window. It, there's damage at all. All damage. Yes. And we are very close to the pyramid. We are about uh, 300 meters far to from a, that. To a pyramid. Here's the old steps. And it's broken away here. It is Bomarzo Pyramid. Yeah. Amazing pyramid, isn't it? Bomarzo yes, Pyramid. I even suspect that could be one some of rock uh, some stuff like this uh, still submerged yeah. in the wood in the woods yeah more of this hidden yes. not found I'm um, yes cuz uh, I watched the photos when it was uh, uncleaned yeah and it was unrecognizable oh really uh, uh, over. yes it, it, the guy that found him started looking for the stairs yeah. and, and so he continues and that appears. Yeah. But it was a very hard work. Yeah. So he found the stairs down here and then found his way up? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so here's some of the scenery prior, uh, before this structure up here. Before or after that was made. And there's a great drop down here. There is this ah, because it's structure so coming up this way. Purposeful, you know, in a way. Pyramid like. Yeah. And now the stairway goes at least down to here and up. So maybe one. So now, just proceeding up this, it's granite. We're told granite up the pyramid. Noticing channels, holes. This part has possibly fallen away. Up. Looking across this initial level, the scrape marks in the stone here, large again, scrape marks, a bit of a view down, and now up to the top and it appears that now there is it's basically a drop it doesn't look pyramidal like over the other side with this area at the top of this pyramid like well, it's a bit pyramidalish here. Natural in a way. Or well, you can see the line here across the top, these sort of foundation parts. So this is a bit of a look at the structure here in Italy. Okay. Scanning up here, we're in the middle of the bush, and there is some writing up here, but beyond that, it's just the sort of structure in the middle of the the bush, the higher ravine. Very strange. It, well, it looks like possible structure there. This is a steep incline coming through the middle here with very old steps that are very probably the original steps. In the, in the middle is a water channel. There is a huge sort of a, a rocks to the left and right and panning around 180 this goes further up. Now looking at the wall, this is very ancient. What sort of stone? Granite? No, what stone? Uh, tuf, tuf. Tufa. Uh, time? No, 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 stone. Tufa? Tuf, tufa. Tufa. 
across here you can see workmanship in the wall on the opposite side. It also looks like there has been some workmanship above also. This line carries on just up here and we will have a look at that. Within the wall here it looks like workings also. Mainly the wall as you can see is quite flat going down and on this side not too bad but it's a bit cur more curvy but it does have a further down we saw the markings on the wall here they are repeated up here we continue through this ancient way through here with more you can see there has been movement of rock you can see ledge this becomes obvious uh, on both sides ledges Waterways. One sixty across this road at the bottom. I'm now taking a further, this is the walkway we just came up and I'm perched on the end of a mossy rock and we have various people here giving a bit of scale to what is tucked in here in this what is no doubt quite ancient site with rock carved around, carved away. The landscape, we came around this region here but we can see a newer township off to the distance over here and then we can come around this way. This part here was definitely part of a construction where above the roadway that we just came across in here again we're looking across once again to what is a modern township over here although possibly built on an older township and just a bit of a look through again for those interested in these old old sites and then way down the roadway or leading to the roadway would be down here coming across just looking through there's all sorts of stone and uh, and cut work through here at different levels this area here probably perhaps a habitat looking across which got smoke coming out of the gully we were at but over here a an old township we have traversed around here the roadway the ancient roadway would be down below quite a massive drop through the trees down here we are up high on this ridge still there is a cutway through here the rock down here looks to be carved away certainly within here within the scape carved <laughs> carved carved areas we're heading on. We are further within the same region here just over the other side of the hill. Now we suspect that some of the old roadways are being used in a modern sense. Just the ribbing in this road here, odd, um, and you know some sort of measures there to sort of see 
the widths. In this area, it there appears to be the, the ribbing from old tanks or tractors with uh, with tracks as you would have on army tanks. But here in the roadway you can see that this part curves around. There's also another part here that curves around and it they happen to lead to what is an old road. The side of it that would be the right side of the road there and the left comes through here and it actually goes up through the bush. So this is an old would probably be the old road there. Now there is modern use for these roads and there's even a gate just here but there appears there's all sorts of things in the rock around here all sorts of ancient uh, cuttings and so just a, a combination in this case of uh, the what appears to be definitely an old road coming across here the new road here and the old road sort of coming through here over here we have some grapes in the Italian countryside and then over this way for reference we have the cliffs here just to get a bit of an idea of the geology here I want rose, yeah. We eat it. Um, so that's actually it's wild not, uh, rose. It's not killing you, but it tastes... Mm, <laughs> tastes no good. Yeah. Alright, just looking at the sign regarding flora uh, and animals in here. In the middle. And just information coming down here as well as uh, like what I would call a ferret or a stoat. Owls, snakes, lizards, turtles, you name it, foxes. I'm doing this for reference. There is that township over here and we're going to quickly get through the bush right here and for a start look at this area here which doesn't look like much but this opening uh, with the space up the top and there is this uh, channel here these so it's possibly water we'll just look over to the sign here backing out now there is a bit of a channel way coming around here another sign for reference coming through Okay, let's go down this curious, surely a lot of water comes down here, but there is this um, marking through here, which is not completely uniform, markings in the rocks, an ancient site heading down. You can see the sculpted areas to the sides coming down this main path. <clears throat> Certainly sculpted. Now we're running into old stairs at the feet. Workings into rock. back up here a moment and looking up here so we just came down this part here the possible yes workings into the rock here workings into the rock here and up here with this recess and the markings around it possibly ancient possibly newer this one as well Alright, so down this pathway, on this rock there are these ribs that are pretty uniform. Now this is not a place where an army tank, doing a 360 around here, is ever going to come through. No, not happening. So it does put into question how old some of the tracks were we've seen where 
they certainly could be modern, but they certainly could be ancient uh, because we have this replication here on this pathway. This is a lower part to the walkway below. Now, possibly water erosion here. And as we've noticed, on the side here again, and we've peeled away some of the dirt, is this ribbing to the side, uh, almost track-like or track-like. Uh, just curious, this is not a place where modern machinery can come down tracks and that sort of thing. Uh, absolutely not. It's a, uh, this is a walking territory. So in the bush here, this hole, which is square, sh square is shaped for whatever reason, and it drops down into here. Can't see how far it goes, but it drops away. Now, this rock here with this most picturesque stairway going up it. Another shot of that rock and stairs. Okay, we're going to go and have a look in here. We're quite deep down in the in the bush here. It's just so picturesque. The wick away for the water at the sides here. You can see the different methods used. And some kind of a structure within the doorway, maybe for to hang a covering or slide something. Who knows? This is. Uh, Stone in here. A recent fire here by people passing through. The last place was just through the trees here, maybe a hundred meters or so. And I'm on this rock here that has a terraced look to it. And You'll see what I mean, there's a lot of working around this place. So I'm rising up and taking a view over the situation here. There are structures right through here. And on both sides of this, of these large rocks, You can see these structures in here. You can see the wicking away perhaps of the water in this case. Now we've seen these little pockets before described as pigeonholes, but certainly perhaps not pigeonholes. The scraping in the rock over here another view through to the further constructions deep in the forest here. How is one to get down from this rock here? There is a, a basin sort of thing in the top here with a drainage hole right there and all manner of holes and cuttings and there are these very dainty little steps around the side to get off this rock. So they just fit the feet. Coming back down. 
here is another look at the passage up onto that rock. Here is yet another view. We were just up here. Here is another view of this rock. Just looking at the wick way, what would certainly be a water passageway across that rock, across the top there. Now, looking over, we're now on this other rock here, and we can see this pillar right here with the with a hole in the centre of it there, a little hole. Um, and just having a look at the greater uh, constructions here. Within the woods there are pillars, stone pillars within the trees. Okay, so just with this area here that we've looked at, uh, pillars through the woods here, but there's this amazing kind of a basin just here. The tree is cracking it away. There is a, a channel going through into this basin or edifice coming through here and just having another look at what's going on here. So with the pillar in here and all through the rock there's all sorts of bits and pieces happening. A further look around this area you can see the shape of the block in here panning around for reference I'm up on a block pillar with a bit of work in the top well it's funny because I had trouble the human body can fit into these some of these the different sizes Now there's the circular shape uh, here with this pillar in the center which is uh, interesting. And looking around here further, really interesting shapes, certainly human-like, but this one here gets so, so small in comparison. So this recess is only about uh, 80 centimetres. This one is about 100 centimetres long by approximately 26 centimetres in width. So within here... Sylvie, you got to see the other side. Within here, we appear to have cross symbology and I'll try to get a good shot with a recess in the center of the cross right there getting an idea of the area around so this cross symbology on this side and on here also This recess here is definitely part of this huge greater rock structure whereas this one here is a total separate kind of a unit on top. Some are set in and some are sort of independent of the greater rock. around this pool there are these divots in here possible of course possibly for the use although it's not on that side or obvious or perhaps it is this part here uh, for the use of construction now with this one here you can see the channel coming out the bottom of it and with this one here you can also see this channel way coming out the bottom of it. I think it's more than enough. Yeah, yeah. All right, just having a look up through here. We're heading up to the area where we were before. Cuts in the rocks. 
In this case, the hole going through. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Slowly. Okay. And then coming up to this one here, that was the hole. And then panning around. And the further constructions are up through here. I think it's trail markings of some sort. Just, you know, like some sort of a... It is always of the same... Uh -huh. Dimension. Same, Same dimension inside. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, On the corners. Mario. That's curious. Ready to go caving again, brother. Well, we saw that before, you know, so we were sort of. Just up here, there are some really interesting marks in the stones that are possibly tall, that are possibly tall, but certainly possibly not down here in the river just looking through and we can see some blocks right through to the distance there uh, you know boil it it's not uh, edible like in, in, it's not dangerous but it's healthy but it's not you know it's not we're down by the river now and just getting a shot of these large fungi fungi here beside the river the size of them is impressive Interesting marks in the rock here, close-ups within the bush here in an obscure place. There's a drop away down here, tumbled rocks around, and again here another very interesting mark way with markings within there also. The markings I just here and there are further ones just through here of interest <clears throat> as it happens there's a large rock here and there happens to be this hole in the rock and it kind of funnels down in this case so it's just a bit of interesting geology to look at and with the camera adjusting and down it goes Questa zona è San Lorenzo, Vallerano. Uh -huh. E io insomma, sto cercando di, di invogliare i giovani a venire, no? A venire, Perché fare qualcosa, è un posto bello. So it, it looks like this, you know, we see this circular here which again we know is uh, you know, sacred sites what have you, worship, but uh, ceremonial. And then you see this here. And then around that you have the rays, a very sun-like pattern. And look at the following the lines of it and it goes back out. So the rays actually, they're over here, uh, here. It's actually pretty coming, well developed. Coming out from where? From this center. Right. Whatever this was, this whole pedestal. Yeah. Uh, over to here. Yeah. Here. Certainly within the bush here, we came to this curious site with these very small steps that have faded out coming up this rock and we are now heading out. So we're back at the start and just looking more closely at this one in this area here. The the lines of it both curve around like that and this section is squarish. Such curious structures.